I'm pleased to share this devotional with you today from Jeremiah chapter 31. I'm going to share it with you today, and then uh, tomorrow I have some further thoughts on Jeremiah 31. These are very encouraging scripture texts for us, brothers and sisters, although they're found right in the middle of some of the bleakest and most uh, uh, heart-rending circumstances uh, within the Old Testament. So if you can page through Jeremiah and come to these gems, they're really, really super, and I hope that you enjoy these, uh, this devotional today, as well as tomorrow from Jeremiah 31. There we read, The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The word I emphasized several times in the reading of this passage was the word covenant. What's a covenant? It's an important word within the Old and New Testament. A covenant is an agreement. It's an agreement made from a stronger party to a weaker party. And it's a binding arrangement. Years ago, uh, people would make covenants one with another, the strong making it with the weak. And there would be uh, certain things that would be said about the one who was making the covenant, how great or how strong uh, uh, he was. In this case, in this covenant, it's an agreement that God, um, a recollection that God has brought his people out of bondage. And that should make it much more easy for them to accept the terms of the covenant. But the promises also go with a covenant too, that God will be with his people and will always, always be committed to them. I'm not sure what you're facing today. There are lots of times uh, where we might feel as if uh, uh, we're alone, or maybe we've done something uh, that we wish we hadn't uh, done, or maybe God feels a little bit uh, distant to, to us, uh, far away, or maybe we're wondering where he is in the middle of uh, such uncertainty. We have to remember that God just doesn't have a, a passing uh, a friendship with us, or that he's way distant uh, somewhat out there. No, God has made a covenant, brothers and sisters, with you and with me. And when the going gets tough, he is the stronger party. He's the one who made the covenant with us. He's the one who brought us out of our sin and out of our slavery, and he still loves us. That's the new covenant that Jesus has given to us in his blood. In fact, we celebrate that uh, when we uh, take communion when uh, Jesus takes the cup, you might remember, and says, this is the new covenant in my blood. It's a new binding relationship that he has made with us. So I don't know how you're feeling today. Maybe you feel as if uh, the Lord's far away. Maybe you might feel as um, maybe God doesn't care or maybe he's distant. Please remember, he is very, very committed to you. He is the one who's brought you out of circumstances in the past, out of sin and wrongdoing. He's made you a new person. He's still making you a new person, and he is still committed to you today. So take uh, joy in that, uh, no matter what your circumstances are today. Why don't you join me with a word of thanksgiving. Father in heaven, thank you for the new covenant that you have given us uh, through Jesus. Thank you that it was prophesied years ago in Jeremiah that you would be with your people always. Lord, when our hearts stray or if they're feeling unsettled today, strengthen us with this covenant relationship and the knowledge that we have that you are always with us and will always care for us. Bless us today and bless our church, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. May God's blessing be with you today.